afternoon, everybody, after a very interesting two morning sessions. Well, this session is going to be about public health, and we all know that an ounce of protection is worth uh, a pound of cure. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to introduce uh, Dr. Uh, Mayada Abu Afan, consultant in public health, to give us an uh, overview. Uh, so the podium is for Mayana. Okay, um, thank you um, uh, very much for Watts and um, um, for giving us this opportunity to talk about uh, public health and, preven and the prevention and the sustainability. Um, what I'm going to cover is a, why do we need sustainable solutions and the sustainability and the prevention. Also, there is a bridge between curative medicine and prevention. So I'm going to put some ideas on the integration, how we can move forward. And then I, I, I'm going to like brainstorm and share ideas on our role as diaspora. When I say diaspora, not health diaspora, as in all diaspora. And then uh, because the, 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 the task is massive, I, I, I thought to remind myself and you as well of how we can manage, manage change, what are the drivers and, and the really challenges of, um, of change. And just a, a few words and, uh, around the term of adaptive leadership, because that is the way if you want to make a difference in a very uh, really challenging um, 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 situation. So um, sustainability, I am not a, a, um, an expert on sustainability. I'm sure there are a number of people who uh, uh, um, specialize in, in sustainability. But I think it, it depends on co-production with communities, reaching solutions and agreeing on problems in partnership with communities we are trying to help. It doesn't, it, it's not about closing ourselves in a dark room and coming, w coming up with a solution from one, our own perspective as experts or as diaspora. It also it depends on financial security. That we are, our resources will always be scarce. So we need to maximize the utilization of these, of existing re resources. And as Dr. Mohammed at Tom said, the focus on pre prevention. Prevention is cheap. It does work, and it ensures sustainability. And also, it, sustainability depends on local and international leadership and goodwill. I am going to talk about it from the prevention from a system-wide, based on the WHO uh, 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 framework. And my colleague, Mona, is going to talk, talk about it um, uh, 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 on from the wider determinants of health. So our talk will complement um, um, each other. So uh, in terms of uh, from uh, a prevention, uh, if we want to have a system that is sustainable and focus on prevention, what do we need to do? We need leadership and we need governance. So we need to, yes, implement, but we need also monitor and make sure that we are going uh, in, in the right direction. We need a well-functioning health system that focused on prevention, hence my questions earlier about the renal and, and the cancer. We need well-functioning workforce, workforce that is happy, well-paid, that is trained and able to maintain their training. We need efficient information systems. Now the world is, earlier we were talking about the global citizen. And why, why do we have global citizenship? Because of the uh, uh, revolution in information. Uh, also, efficient financing systems and equip, equi, equip it, equitable access to prevention and treatment. So we need to, everyone need to have the same and equal um, uh, uh, chances and opportunities. So this is, I'm not sure if you can see this. This is the crunch of my presentation. So why focus on prevention and the wider determinants of health? Why? So if you look at this, 45% of health outcomes 
death and illness is dependent on the social and the environment. And this is evidence-based research from uh, a Canadian research. Followed by 40% due to healthy behaviors. So in, in total, we are talking about 85% that is modifiable factors we can have control on from the environment and the wider system, from the behavior, which is the prevention, which I will uh, focus on, and then only 15% from healthcare. Hospitals, GPs, medicine, imaging, only 15% uh, 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 contribution to improving health and improving uh, li life expectancy and healthy life expectancy. So the integration of curative medicine and prevention. Now, why we need that? Now all our focus on that 15%. So we need to move that from the 50 emerge the 15% and the 40%. That will give us 45%. So how can so how can we how can we do that? Okay, how can we ensure that the starting point of every health and well-being initiative or every cancer pathway or others starts from the prevention? So the, the first one, the first question is, how do we achieve paradigm shift in thinking towards prevention? I thought first education in the schools, everything, hand washing, healthy eating, the, and the concept of prevention, and parents' education. This is how we should start. And then the role of graduate and postgraduate medical schools. Now, in I am, one, I am the one, the kid, I, 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 I uh, missed all my community medicine because I didn't feel it was important when I was in medical school. No one showed me the value of spending time attending uh, uh, because the way we teach public health and prevention is very dry and, and not interesting. And my second question, how to embed prevention across pathways? A colleague asked about the liver disease and they wanted uh, 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 guidelines on liver disease. The starting should be prevention. Cancer, any work, uh, renal disease. So we need to think about when we are addressing a problem, we have to address, address it from a pre prevention point of view. All the health and safety in terms of engineering and in terms of, uh, uh, and, 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 the aviation industry actually is very sophisticated in and mature in terms of uh, uh, the prevention. And then how to improve communities, uh, uh, how to involve communities to promote self-care. And we have to, communities, they have to be knowledgeable and they have to take care of themselves. And the, the con here there is a concept of patient expert. The patient, they are the expert in terms of focusing on and, and managing their own uh, uh, problems. So we want people to take responsibility. When they need healthcare, they, need, they can access high quality healthcare. And then that, that healthcare should prevent them from needing uh, the, 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 the medicine again or the problem. A diabetic should be able to manage themselves and they don't need the hospital and they don't need uh, um, the, 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 um, um, the health care. So, and, and I'm, I'm going also to suggest there is now an emerging concept called lifestyle medicine, okay? Exercise, healthy weight, optimum nutrition, that is the 85% concept of us staying healthy and emerging evidence like the honey, the immune modulators. Nutrition has got huge power. Optimal nutrition has got huge power in improving health and, 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 and maintaining uh, um, good health. So how, how can we do this together as a diaspora? 
um, a number of my colleagues mentioned earlier, we as diaspora, we are divided. We don't have uh, a, a commonality and we don't have a common vision. So I think the, be the best step, we need to come together. And we need to define a working structure. So coming together, easier said than done. But how are we going, doing, going to do that? And then also, we need to develop a vision. Yes, we came together a vision of why, what, what, do, what do we want to achieve, how are we going to achieve it, and then the so what, the question of the research, and the so what, the evaluation of what we are going to do. And also, we need to develop partnerships, effective partnerships with communities back home and in this country, with academia, low and local and national bodies. So this is what we, what I think the the the, the direction uh, moving forward. So, so in terms of uh, the, the 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 task is massive. So in terms of coming together, we need to have to we need to develop a sense of to togetherness, and as I said, and then the vision. Um, so in terms of change. So if we decided today we are going to come together to do something, okay, how are we going to manage that? How are we going to embed that in our day-to-day -day life, our busy life? And I thought just a reminder of the change equation. Change will not happen unless we are dissatisfied with the current situation, unless the, what we want to achieve is better and we are sure it is going to make um, a difference. So, and as I said, you have to really agree we need to change. We do have the vision to go forward, okay? We have a, the environment or the change agent in place and also uh, a plan of how we are going to the resistance or the barriers. And oh, constant advocacy. We need to talk about our role as a diaspora coming together to do something and also locally on benefits and plans. So if a diaspora, I am from Sudan, we have colleagues from Nigeria, I, we cannot develop our plans in, in isolation. It has to be locally and collectively owned uh, with, uh, with uh, our partners uh, back home. So how, how do, when we, when we are coming up with solutions for wicked problems or for difficult problems, we have to accept there is no right or wrong solution, but there is a better or worse development. So if I want to improve health in Sudan, I'm not going to go, I am going to eradicate cancer in Sudan. So it, 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 we, need to, we need to work with what we have and develop better solution rather than, and look at feasibility, not, not optima, optimality. What is feasible? Okay, starting small and building on. We need to be able to live with uncertainties and um, 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 ambiguities. And also we require collaboration and pragmatism uh, um, for, for, uh, for this, okay? So just a, a small, a, a, a just quick word on adaptive le leadership. They mobilize people to tackle problems for themselves. So we, we are not going to go to our countries to, te, to solve the problem for them, but we are going to mobilize. We, go, we are going to inject energy and, and, and drive. And this is really my final, uh, my, my final word in, in terms of um, uh, us coming together as uh, diaspora.